Hey Magical Soul, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid. This is going to be an 1111 portal reading, okay? It's very special, very powerful. We have, a, I believe, a new moon in Scorpio coming up. But anyways, this is a timeless reading, okay? We have a lot of powerful energy happening, though, during the time that I am filming this. So if you feel called to watch this at any given time, I'm pretty sure there's a message here for you, okay? So we have four options today for this 1111 portal. Once again, this reading is very important to me. Um, I was born November 1st, 1993, and technically I have 1111 in my, you know, my birthday. Um, 111 and one in 1111. So, and anyways. I find this number to be very powerful and important for me. Um, 111 and 11.11. So I'm curious to see what comes up, what comes through this reading. I could feel the beautiful energy today during this 11.11 portal. So I'm curious to see what this portal is bringing to everyone who's watched this or has already brought to everyone who's watched this. So if you happen to watch this days later um, or even on another day where it's not even 11 11 for you just felt called to watch this video i'm sure there's a message for you um especially even if you've been seeing 11 11 i'm just like randomly everywhere so here we go we have four options option one moonstone ring <laughs> i don't think it's gonna stand back up for me option two labradorite ring you can't truly see how pretty this one is because of the light. Uh, option three, ruby. Option four, lapis lazuli. I wish you guys could see the gold specs, but okay. All right, so option one, a moonstone. I was gonna say moonlight. Wow. Well, moonstone. Option two, labradorite. Option three, ruby. Option four, lapis lazuli. All right. So four options. Feel free to choose multiple options if you feel called to. There's a better picture of this spread and of the rings in the, um in my uh what is it? What do you call it? My little picture. Um, on, on my video, um, I'm blanking right now. I'll probably edit it and put another picture be before this, but if not, you guys saw the rings. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm a little tongue tied today, but this is what I have for you guys. We're going to get started. I am open for personal readings. If you want a personal reading, please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. Emails in the description box. Also, you guys, it would be a beautiful equal energy exchange if you guys tipped liked subscribed to this channel um i'm giving my energy it would be beautiful to receive an equal energy exchange especially if you like this reading or if it resonated so my tipping options are below and yeah subscribe to my channel if you like my videos i love you guys let's get started i just heard let's get ready to rumble okay let's see what's going on <laughs> really before i go all crazy let's see move these cards over to the side and... all right option one moonstone now i'm gonna wear it just because hey i love it and I want to be in the energy of your reading. So Moonstone Ring. Let's see what's going on with you guys. 1111 Portal. What messages do you guys have? Now, this card here is going to require some reading, okay? So we're going to see what it has to say as well. It's going to be the main focus of your reading. 49, Sky Lightning Moon. Okay, now this is an activation card, so you could totally take a picture of it and meditate on it and see if you guys get any messages as well. So this is your card for 1111 portal. Sky, lightning, moon, 49. We're gonna set it here. The divine matrix. 
interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidents. Okay, God incidences. Let's see what else we have. Mahavatar Bhavaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Interesting. We have a lot of synchronicities here. I'm going to show you why. Let me start here. I'm looking at like the light, like the galactic energy behind, you know, this flower of a life symbol. And how he has a Shrayantra symbol, Om symbol. And this looks like it could possibly be an, I don't know what symbol this is. I've seen it before, but it kind of makes me think of the flower of life. So there's something about sacred geometry for you guys that could be important. So if you feel called to look up sacred geometry or specific symbols, this is the interconnectedness between all living beings, whether human or, or plants, earth, I'm hearing I am that I am conscious and like we are all connected. Every living being is connected. I'm seeing like DNA um, strands, like the shapes and I just heard evolution. Like we're all one. We're all connected. Now I'm seeing movie Avatar, literally. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. The divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God, God incidents. So... The connection between all living things, interconnectedness. So the connection between all that there is, all there is. So look at how these colors are sticking out. So we have third eye chakra, crown chakra. I'm hearing indigo, throat chakra, blues and purples. Blues, purple, and maybe white. Let's see what your luck card is. Your luck card. Crocodile teeth. And it says, dress lucky, lucky in Africa and North America. So it says, so to bring good luck and money matters. And very popular among gamblers, crocodile teeth are the go-to charm if you want to attract wealth into your life. Because of a way a crocodile latches onto its prey and doesn't let go, sometimes superstitions say that the teeth also symbolize perseverance and power. How to capture luck? If you want to cash in, wear a fake crocodile tooth necklace. Interesting. A little extra message and I don't know you guys might want to look at the spiritual symbology of a crocodile okay and then we have a number card let's see what it says one 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 new beginnings I am creative angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love so it's time to create a life you love it's time to create newness. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to understand that there's a reason for everything that's occurred in your life. Everything that's happened has happened for a reason. It's all connected to your journey. It's all connected to your higher purpose, okay? You guys are going to be receiving synchronicities. Um, you guys could also be receiving some type of abundance, prosperity. I'm hearing random chances of luck, like lightning striking. Random little synchronicities happening for you meeting the right people um it's like you guys will have like random little things like all of a sudden someone pays for your meal pays for your coffee or your tea um money makes its way back to you somehow it's just like well how did this happen this doesn't make sense so it's just random little occurrences where you're like okay that's odd but thank you universe and it's all very um, I, I just heard mystical, like it's magical. It's like, you don't understand, like, how is this happening? Like, this is wild, but okay, I receive it. That's what I'm hearing someone say, like, I'm, hey, open hands, open arms. Um, I, I'm hearing open arms by journey. Closed mouths don't get fed. Well, my mouth is wide open, crocodile. Like, you're like, hands open, I'm receptive. So, you guys mean this very receptive energy is allowing the universe, God, source to bless you. Now, some of you might have a connection to um, Hinduism and, and Hindu, um, the Hindu beings, or um, you may have a, a strong connection or focus or you, to Hinduism, or you might feel like you need to study Hinduism or Hindu mythology. I'm also seeing, um, I don't know why I just randomly heard Thor. Whoa, that's interesting, Thor. Um, you might want to look up that Thor. Um, but I'm also hearing 
galactic beings. Some of you guys might have a connection to like star beings, galactic beings, Ply Pleiades, Arcturian, like that kind of energy. I'm hearing indigo child, star seed child. So star seed beings. Yeah. And they're showing me my star seed deck that I should use now. Like that's crazy how they're like, yeah, you should use that deck. And it's nowhere near me. So I'm like, well, that's nice. So yeah, star star seed beings. Some of you guys could have a connection to certain um, planets. I'm here in constellation. We are all connected. All is connected. There's no such thing as division. Division is an illusion, is what I'm hearing. So new beginnings, possible abundance and prosperity, new chapter, new power. See the connection between all. And you're also going to be seeing how the divine is using people to bless you, to protect you, to connect with you. Okay? That's what you're going to be seeing. It's like, whoa, the universe just used somebody totally random to give me that message that I've been waiting for. Or to bless me with the right amount of money that I needed. You're going to be seeing random things play out for you in your favor. Okay? So... That's that. Now let's get into your main card. I told you this is going to be quick. And a lot of times these these cards will have special special wow, special messages for you on your own. And and this is why I told you it would be quick because I feel like these two cards are going to require you having your own discernment to understand what it means for you in this place in time in your life. All right, let's see what this card means. Let's look it up. It's a sky lightning moon. All right. So let's see what the sky lightning means for you. All right. So it says when life kicks you, <laughs> when life kicks you in the blank or knocks you down or throws a big old handful of dirt in your face, the most important thing you can do to support yourself through this experience is to feel it and to acknowledge your suffering. When we go through intense and painful experiences, as every human being does, that suffering opens up doorways in our consciousness that expand our perspectives and give us a deeper understanding of ourselves and of humanity. These experiences transform our understanding of the world and allow us to perceive from a higher level of intelligence. Our intuition grows stronger. We become more aware of new concepts, new structures, and new patterns. All because we allow these challenging moments to shape us and to transform us. Allow yourself to feel the pain you are enduring. To acknowledge that your pain... I just heard, acknowledge that your pain won't last forever. Wow, that's not even in the book. Allow yourself to feel the pain you are enduring. To acknowledge that pain and to follow it through the portals of expansion that are there to deliver you. So, a lot of you guys are going through what I hear matrixism <laughs> you're sick of the matrix you're sick of the the chaos and the crap of the world you know i'm your mainstream media you're sick of it it's like i am tired of the bs and the illusions maybe you've been going through a lot maybe you've been going through something going through some type of pain or discomfort in life maybe things haven't been the easiest but what this is saying is that on the other side of all of this, I wouldn't even say on the other side, on the different, shifting the perspective, on the opposite perspective of all of this, you're put on your perspective glasses and see this from a different view. You'd see that this has a lesson in it for you to learn that soon will help inspire others that may go through the similar trials or errors or tribulations. So. I strongly feel that you guys are transmuting, um, shedding the old skin and transmuting pain and, and overcoming hardship, overcoming difficulties, overcoming, um, I just heard bouts of sadness or depression, um, failure, um, worry, anxiety, sadness, loneliness, possibly even grief for some of you guys. You're realizing, you know what, everyone has something that they've been through and are going through. And we're not alone. I'm not alone in this. Even though I, there may be times where I feel alone in this world, I'm truly not alone. And that I'm not the only one who's going through things like this or worse. So 
in a weird way, there's a sense of comfort knowing that you're not alone through this through this world's crap, right? And the earth is a beautiful place, but sometimes humans in this have made it more difficult than what it needs to be. And that in itself is a lesson. That in itself is a teaching experience that we all need to do better, help each other, help every living being, not just human beings. And to realize that we are all connected, there is no separation, no matter what nationality we are, no matter what belief system we were brought up with, no matter what music we listen to or what you know color of our skin, no matter where we're from, it doesn't matter, we are all one. And so you guys are getting down to the core truth of we are a part of one connected consciousness, interconnectedness. And it shows within these similar patterns and, and symbols throughout time. We are all connected. So I see you guys, I keep seeing a vision of I am that I am. I am. We are soul beings in these bodies in order to gain experience and to take knowledge from this human experience. And then we go back to where we came from, our, our original home. So you guys are taking all of these life lessons and you're transmuting it into something very powerful. I just heard neutralizing, like you're taking this and this is true alchemy. This is an alchemist process. You guys might feel called to read the book, The Alchemist, but this is an alchemist process where I feel you guys this is where the true magic occurs it's where the true power occurs when you are can be in so much pain or fear of the unknown or going through so much stress who knows what and you're able to transmute this into something positive you're able to put on your different you know glasses and see a different perspective and see a different view of all of this that shifts the narrative shifts your energy this is what's powerful about you. You have the power to create your own new beginnings. And the new beginnings don't have to be a new month. They don't have to be a new birthday. It doesn't have to be a new year. It's a new day. And in fact, it's not even always a new day. It's a new moment, a new breath. So you can start new again in each and every breath. That's how powerful we are. I'm hearing the power to speak things into existence to envision things into existence. We are powerful creators. I'm seeing the number 777 as well. We are powerful creators. If you are made in God's image, you are a powerful creator. So 11, 111, angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. So there could be something that you guys are wanting to create or work on you could have something in mind maybe it was even a quick thought it could be something you prayed over or something you've you know written down or just an idea you've had or it's like wow i wonder if i should go through for this i wonder if i should do this and your angels are saying yeah we fully support you go after this do this move forward stop doubting yourself go after it i'm here it's time to make huge waves so it's time to be seen and heard it's time to Leave your footprint, leave your mark. It's time, I am creative. They want you to create. And it's beautiful how we're all connected that sometimes people will get ideas, right? And they're like, oh, I had this idea, but I never acted on it and out of nowhere, I see someone made a book about it or, or wrote about it or created it. And I'm like, how did that happen when I created that in my head, it, but I just never acted on it? Well. Really, you received a download. You, you received a creative download, a gift from the higher beings, from God's source universe. And when you didn't act on it, that idea was passed on to someone else and they acted on it. So they're also saying, hey, if you get a, a download, an idea, some type of inspiration, create something, do it. Because if you don't act on it, it'll be given to someone who will act on it. And it's not a threat, it's just the way we work because we're all connected. We're a huge network of energy. So honestly, 
that idea was given to you, gifted to you from the higher realms. There's nothing new under the sun, truly. It was gifted to you from the higher realms. And when you're gifted creativity or something to bring into existence, you should act on it and give gratitude for it. So they're saying get creative. Some of you simply need to write. You need to paint. You need to draw. Um, you need to work with clay or mold, or, or mold something, sculpt something into being. Pottery, you know, um, whatever it is that's creative, you need to create. Whether it's music, art, just create. This, is, this energy is going to help you to manifest other things. So be an energy of creation. We have all of this, the creator and the creative. So think about that and how your words create your reality and how your, your thoughts create your reality. And how your writing can even create your reality. This is the magician. This is the alchemist. This is the ultimate creator. Keep that in mind. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Option one. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. One more time. This is your picture. Very powerful. It's a portal. <laughs> um, sending you love. I am open for personal readings. Email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com or tip your girl. Love ya. Moving on to option two. Option two, you guys have labradorite. Oh, such a powerful manifesting stone. Let's see what your card is. Now, this is a card that you can meditate on, okay? That you can take a screenshot of and meditate on. You guys have the number eight, which is abundance. Fire, tribal fire earth let's see what it means for you thoth light codes light initiation great teacher awakening divine magic light code activations the scroll knowledge wisdom thoth this is very important now i can share this yeah, they told me I can. Okay, I can share this from my own personal experience. I'm getting a vision of, well, there's a vision I had, right? But I'm getting a vision of it to share it with you. This has galactic imprint all over it. I'm going to tell you that now. Emerald, look up the em Emerald tablet. I want you guys to look up Thoth. Oh, you guys have I am that I am energy as well. Option one had some of that energy. Entering, I'm hearing a sacred gateway, sacred pathway. Really, it's a portal gatekeeper. They're letting you in to sacred knowledge. I'm hearing soul contracts, blueprint, why you were sent here in this lifetime in the first place. Also, information on past lifetime experiences. This is astral travel, going to a certain realm, Akashic Library, to receive certain information. So imagine you were to enter some type of portal gateway. There's a code. Interesting. You walk, you walk through, and there are sacred scrolls that light up. It's real. I know. Bear with me. It's real. Um, that's all I'm being given that I can share with you guys. It's real. You're receiving information. You're receiving knowledge about yourself and your, your soul's life. Not just your human experience as whoever you are in this lifetime, but your soul. Okay? So we have Thoth Light Codes. This one is strong. This one's really strong. Sorry about that, loves. My baby Joe started coughing and I had to check on him. So we're back. Anyways, this is a very strong reading. Very, very, very strong. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what more to say about it. Let's get, let's get back into this. Sorry, you guys. I'm just kind of blown away by this because I wasn't expecting. Um, I don't always look at the cards when I, um, you know, pre-select, like, you know, pre-shuffle them and select pals. Um, but this one, this is, this is deep. 
so I tr- I truly feel those who chose this option, like I feel tongue tied. Those who chose this option, you're getting a really big upgrade. Super. Okay. Next level. All right. Let's see what else we have. Isis. Wow. Isis magic. Okay. So ancient Egypt, because we have Thoth and we have Isis. Aset. Magic manifesting your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So light initiation, great, te- great teacher awakening, divine magic. We have a lot of magic here. Divine magic, and then we have magic manifesting. And you guys chose Labadorite, which ironically matches both of these cards. So some strong magic happening here. Um, and this has to do with past life, so you know, contracts possibly, so contracts that you've had in other lifetimes, other dimensions, other forms. Okay, so ancient Egypt here is here. Comedic, somebody could practice like comedic practices. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I don't know why I just randomly heard Afro Caribbean. I don't know if someone. I don't know if someone's listening to Afro-Caribbean music. If someone is Afro-Caribbean, that's not for everybody, obviously. But, um, or if someone's Egyptian or Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, African of some, but like there's some something here. Um, this is, could be p- just past life energy, but with Thoth and Aset here, Isis here, this is big. Magic, divine magic, and, mani- and magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So, you guys, during this eleven eleven portal, you, the, those of you who chose this option, you need to be very clear, very precise about what it is you're trying to manifest, what it is you want, whatever you think about, whatever you say, whatever you're you're daydreaming about. It's happening. It's it's slowly birthing. It's slowly happening. And what's crazy is when I left the table to go check on Joe, I left this card by the candle and it burnt a little bit. And I thought it was so interesting because I'm very like picky with these cards and I just kept getting like fire fire magic. I don't know, I got that like candle magic. So there is something going on as I said that my flame on one of my candles went super high. There's something very powerful and potent here with you guys' energy. We have the eight, which is abundance. Eight is also, you know, if you flip it on its side, it's the infinity symbol. So you guys are infinite beings, and we're talking about, like, lifetimes that could range in the thousands. Like, we're talking about old soul contracts, ancient soul contracts. The Ankh represents the masculine and feminine energies coming together and creating new life. And so we have this magician energy here where it's like birthing of something new, birthing of a new life, birthing of a new you, really manifesting, bringing things to life. OK, now we have your lucky card. Your luck card is the dolphin. Lucky in several cultures around the world, dolphins have always been considered lucky by seafarers because they are commonly seen close to land or they can help people who are drowning. From saving the Greek poet Arian, or Arian from death at the hands of his own crew to bringing back the Nereid Aphrodite, oh wait, 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 Amph- Amphitrite, Amphitrite, beloved of Poseidon, god of the sea, the dolphin is a friend, helper, and protector that will guide you safely to your goal. So I don't know, someone correct me. Is it Nereid Amphrite, 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 beloved of Poseidon, god of the sea. Atlantis, Lemuria, you guys got some old lifetimes coming through. How to capture luck. If you get the chance, go dolphin spotting in the wild. So you guys might feel called to go to the ocean, go to the water. Spend time by the water to cleanse your energy, to reconnect. There's this power there. I just keep hearing birthing the new, birthing the new, birthing the new. What's your number card? What's your magic card? 88. You guys have 888. You have three eights. Well, okay. I hope I chose this option. 888. 
I am wealthy. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. You all need to start saying this right now. I am wealthy. I am blessed. I'm healthy. I'm prosperous. I'm magical. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am a divine unlimited. I'm a divine being. I'm an unlimited being. I hold all the magic within me. I have all the resources I need. I am wise. I am brave. I'm courageous. I'm powerful. Like you guys need to start speaking power into yourself. There's so much power from you guys. I can feel it in this energy that you need to speak more of it into your life. Speak power into your life. So you have a lot of magic here. There's wealth that is being um, manifested, money, wealth, more magic. Um, there's a lot of magic man manifesting. This literally says magic manifesting. So you guys are actually manifesting um, money, manifesting magic, manifesting success. There is magic being done here. Literal magic, whether it's candle magic. Um, there's some type of magic happening here. This is a magic pal. Those who are willing to do the work. This is... Law of Attraction, this is I do candle magic. This is I write my spells down. I say my, I speak my spells. This is I pray over what I want. This is I envision what I want. This is I sleep, I go to sleep thinking about what I want. This is like, you guys have reprogrammed yourselves or they're telling you to reprogram yourself to be just intentional with everything you do. And to claim power. Just to claim power over everything you do. I'm hearing upper hand. This is a very powerful power. This is the power of the high priests. The high priestesses. The magicians. The witches. The um, healers. The alchemists. You know. Spiritual gurus. This is the. You guys are very higher. up. Like your, your souls are old. And you're remembering some of the old knowledge that you've had from past lives. And in this 1111 portal, you guys are getting more downloads, more energy. I'm hearing, I'm hearing more ammunition, more like fire to, to push. It, it's like they're giving you extra energy to push behind your dreams and goals in this lifetime. They give you your old tools. Like imagine you have all these tools in the spiritual world, right? You have all these tools and in, in, in these tricks and and in codes in the higher realms, but when you got to this earth, you weren't able to take it all with you. And then all of a sudden you get this download in the 1111 portal. Oh, that's what I need. Thank you. Ah, it's like you're being given ancient old wisdom that you used to have. And it's going to help you to be successful in this lifetime. All right. Now let's read this, this powerful card you have here. This earth card, which should actually be in the middle, but whoa. Everything is just so powerful in this reading. Okay, Earth, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear the messages Gaia is sharing with the awakening ones, the time for stewardship is now. The Earth gives to her children without asking anything in return. The tribal fires are now asking you to nurture our planet just as she nurtures you, to give selflessly to the mother just as she gives selflessly to you and to all her children. Gather your friends and your tribe in nature and give back. Nourish the earth soils with compost and minerals. Plant seeds, pull weeds, feed the birds, thank the trees. Offer blessings and gratitude and love and appreciation. Our Mother Earth loves us so dearly. The more we replenish the earth, the more we replenish ourselves. So it's almost like, I don't know why I'm hearing like a sacrifice. Like you give, you give, you, oh. I just heard you give what you get. You get what you give. Whoa. You you get what you give. You reap what you sow. Um, I'm hearing um, the song, You Get What You Give. You got the music in you. Go listen to that randomly. Um, but I'm actually hearing a give and take. So, you know how they say you never approach a goddess without an offering? Well, you guys are being blessed so much. So, so much. Wow. Do you hear me? Like, I feel like I can't even speak in this. Palace. It's like so much energy. You guys are being blessed 
so much that I feel there's a need of a bit of an offering to Mother Earth. And we have the Divine Mother. We have Isis here, Divine Mother energy. She went and saved Osiris, brought him back to, found him, put him back together just to have a baby, a Horus. And he went to rule in, the, and then um, Osiris went to rule in the, the underworld. We're talking about the Divine Mother, the strength of the Divine Feminine, the nurturer, the giver, who constantly gives, 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 right? But when does she receive? That's a message for someone. You know, when are you open to receiving, right? But it has to be an equal give and take. And anything you do, including these readings, when you receive so much and you don't give, it's off balance. So it has to be equal give and take. So what this reading is telling you is that you're coming into so much potential and power whether you see it already or not yet it's happening so you need to claim it in fact you guys type in the comments 888 i am wealthy um this reading right here it's requiring you to give back in some kind of way how can you help mother earth can you help with, you know, the animals, with the plants, what kind of way can you go to the ocean and recycle, you know, pick up plastic? What some things that you can do to help give back to earth? What can you do as a personal, like, sacrifice to give back to Mother Earth for all that she's doing for you and has done for you? And that's this card. And in what way can you honor Gaia? And what way can you help the Earth's in, in, um, the Earth's creatures? You know, you're not the only creature walking here on Earth. So what can you do to help the animals on this planet to help Mother Gaia? What ways can you contribute back into the Earth? What can you feed back into the Earth? Because you're being blessed and you've been blessed thus far. So how can you help out? Even the dolphins will help people who are drowning in the water. You know, no one told somebody, no one told a human to go out in the ocean. No shade. I love the ocean, right? Call myself mermaid. But no one asked the human to go out in the ocean to other animals' home, right? And that animal still saves the human. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, equal give and take, right? The animal who's in its own home and its own environment goes out of its way to save the animal that isn't in its environment anyways in what way can you help mother earth i'm hearing spiritual vortexes and they're showing me somewhere tropical of course for some reason my brain automatically goes to hawaii but i'm not really sure um but they're just saying somewhere tropical an island something about an island like a spiritual vortex on an island Someone may feel called to go to a certain um, island. I'm also getting just spending time near the water is going to help you. It's going to help you. Near the water, underneath the sun, light code activations. This is very powerful. Because you're being blessed, the least you could do is be a blessing to others. This is powerful. I don't know what more to say to you guys but whoa look up the numbers 888 um angel numbers 888 and wow that's what i have for you guys um i'm surely getting a lot of fertility here so 1111 portals also bring you guys fertility take that how you you want it um want to take it but that's here as well knowledge fertility secrets mysticism magic lots of magic Lots and lots of it. Okay, love? So that's what I have for you. Very powerful. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know how this resonates with you. If you like a personal reading, please email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. But we are moving on to option three. Option three, you have the ruby ring. Okay, let's see what's going on. For your 1111 portal. All right, so we have your activation card, okay? You can take a screenshot picture of this card. It says Water River Star. Water River Star. 
Okay, you set this here. Your next card is, whoa, wow. You guys have the Merkaba activation, transcendence, ascension. You are rising up. Sacred vehicle. You guys have the Merkaba. Oh, yeah. Some of you could be um, connected to um, Archangel Metatron. I randomly just heard Archangel Santaphon as well. Gatekeeper light code. Okay, you guys might have a connection to another option. If you felt called to watch another option, hey, go for it. Transcendence, ascension, you are rising up. Let's see what else. You have charity. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Whoa, ask and you shall receive. You are connecting with heaven. Connect with heaven. That's what you guys are doing. It's like the sacred path. You guys, this Merkaba, which is like a sacred vehicle that's around your or it's around your body. It's going around you. It's like it's taking you to this pathway, to this portal. You're connecting with heaven. You're connecting with higher dimensions. Some of you guys can have a connection with the Council of Light, um, with archangels, seraphim angels, cherub angels. Some of you have a strong connection with angelic beings and possibly galactic beings. What's your lucky card? This is your lucky card. Let's see what it is. You have the money frog. Live lucky. Okay, this is lucky in China. The Jin Chan, more commonly known as the money frog or sometimes toad, brings good luck to the home. The frog was the companion of Lu, Lu Hachin, a Taoist and immortal. There are many myths about them, including that whenever Lu Ch Hachin, I hope I'm pronouncing this person's name right, um, Lu Hachin dangled a string of coins, the frog would come running. The frog also had the power to spit out gold coins. The money frog therefore symbolizes wealth and prosperity. It's said to appear near homes or businesses that are about to receive positive news. How to capture luck? If you're a business owner, keep a model of a frog next to the till. It won't do any harm to have one at home as well. Okay, so keeping a money frog in your business or at your home I'm also hearing proper feng shui um, and bringing in abundance and prosperity into your space as well. Clean home, happy home. That's what I just heard. So cleansing your space. What's your number card? 16. I am perspective. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others, okay? Sharing is giving, right? Sharing is caring. So we have a 16 here, but this breaks down to number seven. So very spiritual, spiritual activations and ascendance. You're rising up, helping others, reading into others. Some of you guys can be psychics, mediums, or channelers. Prophets, prophetess, high priest, high priestess, prayer warriors is what I'm getting. It's interesting we have this fuchsia, this hot fuchsia pink that just keeps running through all three of these cards. Um, which ironically goes along with the ruby. So you guys might really feel called to work with the ruby stone, the crystal. Um, heart chakra activations, roses. Mary Magdalene energy, Christ consciousness, divine feminine energy, um, flower essence. Yeah, this is really interesting. Heart chakra activation. I am perceptive. You guys are empathic. You guys are, it, well, there's a power in this, a very strong power in this. But it's also very important that you guys learn how to protect your energy and be mindful that not everything that you feel is your energy. Sometimes it's other people's energy. So be mindful, be aware, protect your aura, cleanse your aura, protect your aura, be aware of your spiritual hygiene. You, you guys have chose this option because of your, because of your gifts and abilities 
and where you're ascending right now, it's very important that you are mindful of your spiritual hygiene, that you're cleansing your energy, protecting your energy, shielding your energy with protection and love and light, um, receiving light code activations as much as you can, resting, you know, meditating as much as you can be when you wake up at night before you go to bed, um, resting to receive these downloads and the updates in your system, I'm hearing, um, yeah, system updates. So we're kind of like computers. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but we often receive downloads and updates um, when we're in meditation or when we're asleep, even when we're outside receiving, you know, you know, light codes. This is when we're con collecting data. And I feel that you guys are collecting data but you need to be more mindful of what's happening in the process. Be more mindful of and intentional about why you're doing certain things. Why are you meditating? Okay, I'm meditating to connect with source, to receive um, any activations, to receive any downloads, any healing, any type of mindfulness, any awareness. Just be mindful about what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it, what colors you're wearing. This reading is all about mindfulness and perceptive shifting your per your perception of things which in my opinion automatically happens when you raise your frequency although some would say shifting your perception helps you to raise your frequency right if there's something you've been needing or wanting in regards to home business finances or even love is what i'm hearing Ask and you shall receive. Connect with heaven. Connect with prayer. Prayer and meditation go hand in hand. They're the one's opposite end of the other coin, you know? Prayer is asking. It's a conversation. It's asking. It's talking. But meditation is listening. Listening. So no one to listen, no one to speak, no one to listen. They go hand in hand. And then contemplation is in between this. Paying attention, observation, thinking. So prayer, contemplation, meditation, and rest. Nature, you guys, and spend time in nature. The Merkaba is such a big symbol for you guys. I hope that you take more time to look it up on this 1111 portal. I'm also seeing a special meditation for you guys. Sit somewhere quiet and imagine there's a Merkaba coming from the sky, coming from the heavens. With this white goat light all around it. Imagine this Merkaba. Coming from the heavens and going throughout your whole body. Slowly traveling down each chakra, each vertebrae, going all the way down your body. All of your limbs, all the way down into the earth's core. Imagine this Merkaba spinning around your body. And just breathe. This is very important. Very important. I feel like you guys need to take that visual and go sit somewhere and meditate. Do that and see what happens. At least for seven days, do that for seven days, that meditation. It doesn't have to be long and drawn out, but just envision this happening. In the morning and at night, pray. Pray about the things that are on your mind. Pray about the things that are on your heart or the things that are weighing you. Give it over to God. You know, make an angel altar or an ancestor altar. Some type of place you go to in your, in your physical space where you could just pray and meditate. Or you can maybe leave a petition, a prayer note, or a message of concern, or a message of gratitude. This reading also screams high gratitude. Being grateful for where you are in your life, how far you've come and how far you will go. Being kind to yourself and others. Being grateful for the learning experiences. For the curveballs. For the love, for the laughter. 
all of this, these memories, they want you to be grateful for it. They want you to start seeing the, the positive in all of it. Okay, let's see what your activation card represents in this book. Now, this might take a little time because this book doesn't really have, um, it's a lot, and it doesn't really have specific numbers that I can look for for these um, cards. That makes sense. Let's see. Okay, so we have the star. Wow. Abundance isn't a destination or a BMW or even a bunch of commas in your bank balance. Abundance is a current of energy that you claim by knowing you are it and that you are worthy of receiving all that you already are. You, my dear, are standing upon the threshold of a great love and blessings. You have worked hard and endured so much to have finally arrived at this spiritual doorway. In order to pass through it, you must know the truth of this current. You must know in your heart and in your soul and in your bones that abundance is the very fabric of this dimensional plane and that it is not possible for it to ever run dry. Only when you know and embody this fundamental universal truth can you truly then walk through this doorway of bounty and sustenance and receive what is rightfully yours. Only when you know and embody this fundamental universal truth can you then walk through this doorway of bounty and sustenance and receive what is truly yours. All right, so you are abundance, but abundance is not outside of you. You lack nothing. That's why we have this ask and you shall receive, because you lack nothing. You simply just need to ask for it and claim it and be grateful for it as if it's already happened. So we're talking about this wealth, this abundance being... In your DNA, it's who you are. And I'm hearing start living like it. Start living like it. Embody it. Embody it. If you've been suffering from like lack of mentality, get out of that. Get out of that headspace. Get out of worry. Get out of that fear-based energy. Step into an energy of hope and of Peace and of love and of laughter and joy and gratitude. And of abundance, knowing that you are the walking embodiment of abundance. Shift your perceptive. That's what we have for you guys. And I don't know why I said we. So I definitely feel like that's a strong like angel that's near you guys. Because I definitely felt like this one was, a, like this reading was... Definitely assisted by um, an angelic being. So, whew. this one is um, powerful. There is another one that was just just as powerful, I would have to say. So, not that any of them aren't powerful. It's just that some of them hold a more potent energy. But you guys need to strongly read about the Merkaba. Read about um, the Ruby... St- the ruby crystal and learn about Archangel Metatron. Yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much gratitude. If you like this reading, if you connect it with it, if it made sense to you in any way, send me a comment below. With a star emoji and the number seven. Let me know how it resonated. Because this is this is divine blessings and, and strong potential. This is realizing your connection with source. And realizing that you have everything you need already. And God is within you. You are always connected to the higher realms. All right. 
If you want a personal reading, email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. Um, subscribe, like, comment below. Tip for equal energy exchange, whatever it is that your spirit, your soul is calling you to do. I'm seeing you guys love. We're moving on to option four. Option four, you have the lapis lazuli ring. Let's get into it. This is your soul activation card. So we're going to see what it's about. Be prepared to take a screenshot if you'd like. We have 56 sky storm earth. That's a very powerful one. Sky storm earth. That's very intense. I don't know why I just randomly heard Oya for someone out there. I don't know if you're if you um, connect with Oya, but I just randomly heard her name. Um, why did I just hear Storm from X Men? So yeah, it does this card does kind of have that that look to it, where it's kind of edgy and stormy, and it's very Scorpio esque. <laughs> All right, let's see what else you guys need to know. Shambhala initiations, recreating to recharge. Trusting in the process, dharma. Interesting, okay. What do we have here? Radha, soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship harmony and healing. Whoa, I just randomly, I felt it, I felt it, and then I heard it. Some of you may be so sensitive to energy that you feel like movement. You'll feel like a rock in the earth, like you'll feel slight movement. And if you go online and check, no one has reported an earthquake, but you still slightly feel a rock of movement in different places. You, Some of you guys could also sense when certain things are going to happen, like just feel feel it so I'm hearing like hypersensitive to energies and the elements yeah a psychic energy here okay let's see what your lucky card is spire luck flock of birds now this is interesting with a flock of birds it almost makes you think of like when the birds can tell when the weather is changing you know when they can tell and I don't know why they just showed me a scene of Mean Girls where she's like, I can tell when it's going to rain. Oh, my God. Not Kind of like that, but not like that. It's like you have this inner sense, kind of like the birds, like something is shifting, like something shifting in the, in, in, in the environment, in the air. And you'll sense it. You just feel the shift. You'll feel and sense the shift. Um, I just heard cosmically, too, so... Some of you would be very powerful astrologists, psychics, mediums, but I'm strongly getting astrologists. All right. So flock of birds, lucky in several cultures around the world. Birds are believed to be the connection between heaven and earth. Owing to, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did I say owing? Some of you guys might have a connection with owls, or ravens, crows. Okay. This is so weird, but why did I just... Is someone a Harry Potter fan? Because why did I just hear Gryffindor? Is there a bird with a name similar to that? I don't know what that's about. Why did I just get that? That's so random. Anyways, let's finish this. Owing to the numbers that flock together, they're regarded as a symbol of abundance and progress. Birds are said to fly in flocks to protect themselves from predators. As the old saying goes, there's safety in numbers. There's safety in numbers. If they appear in your dreams, good luck is on its way to you. I'm hearing knowing that you don't have to go at it alone. Community. Yeah. So grab your binoculars and get out bird watching. So how to capture your luck? Go bird watching. Okay. Birds are also messengers, so... We gonna see. Let's see what else is here with this energy. Yes, 
You guys might have a connection with the Garuda or Phoenix, um, huge birds, eagles. Um, they're showing me the bird. Yeah, it's a Gryffindor, the bird. I'm, I'm telling you yeah, that I was right. Now, this is a, a more of mythical, or is it? Um, it's the bird that has like a, it's like a lion's body or something like that. You guys, you have to look this up. There's something about that coming through here. Um, the Garuda, like a, kind of like a mystical bird in there. Even show me the bird from, um, oh my God, what is that movie? Avatar. I just mentioned it in another reading. Avatar, like the huge bird, like dragon creature. So, some type of mythical old creature, like a... Um, old being could be symbolic for you guys maybe you've had a dream of of one or you keep seeing like symbolism or visions of one there's something about that all right let's see what your number card is 11 well, so finally someone gets 11 so out of the whole 11 11 portal reading you guys actually have 11 i am intuitive you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. Like the birds, I just said that. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be great guide and supporter. This card is very powerful for you guys because this, this basically captures, it, it just basically told your whole reading. Honestly. You can understand the what's unspoken. You can understand what's unknown. You'll feel it. You sense it. You may not know how you sense it and feel it and know it, but you can just tell. And 37, 37, look up those numbers. You can just tell when something is happening. You can just tell, like, something's going on. Like, or you sense, okay, I feel like something's about to shift. Something's about to happen. Your spidey senses are on point. So, paying attention to the vibes you pick up on, the energy you pick up on. It's very important that you guys clear your mind and spend time in nature. You can sense when change is in the air, when something's off with someone's energy, when something's off with your surroundings. You can also pick up when things are well. So, more power to you something about connecting with the earth's elements um but the seasons of the earth the natural disasters in nature and animals like you can you it's i'm getting a vision of someone going outside and just simply just standing there and closing their eyes and then they can feel like okay this is what's going on like what's going to happen next it's really deep all right so let's see what else I can get from this. Retreating to recharge. So there's some rest that's needed here. Kind of like another option. I'd tell them that they need to protect their energy because they're very sensitive to energies. But they're more like empaths. Similar to you guys because you can pick up on different things. But yours is a bit different where you're picking up on shifts in, in transformation within the earth and within its animals. Possibly even within people. So maybe protecting your aura, covering your crown chakra when you feel like you need to cover your crown chakra. Being mindful of your spiritual hygiene. Silence would be great for you guys. I'm hearing um, your sight could be clearer i'm hearing crystal vision your ear like your your hearing could be sharper like there's i'm hearing like you're getting like a tune-up you're getting like a, a, a it's like a piano gets a tune-up you got it's like your instrument is being tuned to a certain frequency and it's going to help you to hear and see and feel things and understand things that are kind of unseen not kind of are unseen or unheard by people who are kind of I'm going to be honest, distracted with 
media and with technology. That's what it truly is. We're distracted from, from being present. You guys are going to pick up on all these little details. You're going to pick up on things that no one else is picking up on. It'd be really great if those of you who watch this reading, if you could spend time in nature, um, especially if it's somewhere where it's like less pollution, that'd be really good. Of course, safely. So, wow, I just, I strongly, it's like you can feel the waves, like radio waves. You can feel energy. You can feel the shift. You, can, you may even be able to read auras. You could feel energy and power radiating. So, wow, you guys, very powerful. I would say journal your experience. Some of you could be herbalists, connecting with plant medicine, flower medicine. I'm hearing that some of you may feel called to connect with more, um, I'm hearing hobbies that are a little bit more relaxed in nature, whether that's like floral arrange, floral arrangements, pottery, painting, um, reading, learning about herbs and plant medicine and earth. I see you guys doing something that's a little bit more relaxed. I don't know why I just heard subdued. I think it's because there's so much intense energy that you pick up on and that you may even radiate at times without knowing it. That a good balance for you guys in life would be, especially during this time, would be to kind of do slower paced things like cooking, like baking, um, slow, slowing down a bit just to connect with your breath, to connect with the present moment. Um, with community, just just slowing down a bit would help you guys. So this card says, rediscover a part of yourself, a lost part of yourself. So there's parts of you that's still coming to surface. It's not really, in my opinion, it's not really lost. It's just parts of you that's still coming to surface. Like it's slowly arising within you with growth, with newer wisdom. So... We have experienced relationship harmony and healing. There could be healing that's taking place within you guys' relationships. Within you guys' relationship with yourself and your spiritual team. But also within your relationships with, you know, your family, with friends, partners. There's a healing taking place within yourself. So, of course, I would imagine there would be a healing taking place with, out, you know, outside of you with all your other relationships. Now, for a lot of you, you could be connecting with someone who's your soulmate, a soul tribe member, a, you know, quote-unquote twin flame for those of you who believe in that. But a strong soulmate is either coming in because I feel that. I feel like there is, with this initiation you guys are going through, this portal, this initiation, you're becoming more authentic to who you, you're, you're, you're stepping more into your, who you truly are. You're becoming more real, more honest with yourself about who you are and where you're at in your journey. Because of this authenticity, this authentic frequency, you start to align with those who match that frequency. And I feel that you guys are aligning to one of your soulmates. A very strong soulmate who's going to understand this path in your life. Or at least know the frequency. Their higher self is going to fill it. So this is time for you guys to rest, recharge, spend time connecting with people that you trust and love and care about. Like it's just slow and steady. Spending time with those you love, taking time along your, your journey, your path. We have Dharma here, which is about your path. Trusting in the process, taking time. You're, you're coming across more parts of you, different versions of you. That's all that there is to it. Trust your intuition. Now let's see what this card is, your activation card is. See if we can find the meaning of it. Let's see, this book doesn't, to me it's not the best 
with organization. It's a powerful book, but it could be organized a little bit better. Let's see what I have. Okay, I keep hearing community for you guys. Spending time with a trustworthy community, resting. So all in balance. Let's see what we can find. All right, so Earth. There is chaos swirling around you as well as among the collective. Don't let yourself get sucked in. As a lit leader of legacy, it is important for you to ground your energy and your attention into the awareness of the observer. Yes, we live in a constructed reality. But that doesn't mean you have to surrender your power to this collective nonsense. Detach. Root yourself in the awareness of the witness. This will give you the necessary perspective that will allow you to see the deeper meaning that lies behind and beyond the conflicts of this world. While helping you to see what actions you can take to lift the collective and to influence positive change. So, once again, this is interesting because during the time that I'm filming this, there's a lot going on in the world. And like I said, your sensory levels are so intense and powerful that you may feel called to step away, to rest, to recharge, to back away from technology and media, to be more observative, to be more um, on the be more on the observer end of things. Mindfulness, right? It's like, okay, well, I'm aware of what's going on in the world, but that doesn't mean I have to watch it consistently. That doesn't mean I have to, you know, be glued to my phone or be glued to the TV. In fact, I feel like you guys are here to, I'm, I'm going to say like I'm hearing quite do the opposite. Back away from all of the noise and the drama and, and chaos of the world. In what way can you help? I see that kind of shift in narrative. Maybe lighting a candle and wishing for healing and love and protection for the world and for the communities. But... I see you guys being more intentional with your efforts of helping the world. I see you guys being more observative and knowing when to detach from drama, when to detach from the chaos of the world in order to keep your cool and keep your composure and to stay in your power. So 1111 Portal is giving you an initiation. But, and they're helping you move along your path. Sensory levels are heightened to the point where you need to step away from news, media, technology, chaos, drama. Protect your aura, protect your energy, spend time with plants, nature medicine, rest. So I, I see that. I'm also randomly hearing, um, I think her name is Madison Kaylee. But she's a harpist. I'm randomly hearing her and seeing her playing her harp. So listening to, you know, a harpist. But just, I'm also seeing a vision of Ravina. You know, listening to music that's more relaxing and laid back. Just really making things soft, comforting, cuddling. Like a cuddly feeling. I'm getting like this coziness. But... Very mellow. This is a mellow energy because you have all this intensity here of the world. And you're being called to just embrace this mellow energy. Be the calm in the storm. Be the calm person when everyone is losing their mind. So, reconnecting within the, the divine that's within you. Reconnecting with your higher self. Following your intuition. Knowing to, knowing when to take time for yourself. I see you guys doing a lot of that. A lot of reading. A lot of reading. A lot of writing. Messengers, communication, arts. Anything within communication. So Archangel Gabriel could also be a part of this reading. 
I just randomly heard Krishna, Shiva, Parvati. They just said Saraswati. We have Radha here. I'm also getting a bit of Kali Ma's energy with this sky storm earth energy. I just heard release fears, embrace peace and positivity and move forward. Very powerful reading, you guys. Important that you guys meditate daily. Just listen. If you can meditate in nature s safely, I would say do that as well. Okay? So this is what I have for you, option four. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But I am out of here. I love you. Happy 11-11. If you want a more personal and depth reading, email me at mysticalmermaidlightgmail.com. If you want to tip, my tip information is below. Be a beautiful equal energy exchange, especially if you resonated or liked this reading. Sending you love. Be safe. And remember to be still and listen. Observe. You're going to get more downloads, more messages. This is an initiation, so rest. Love you guys.